three hours more like it, but um, my name is Vic Carroll. I'm the vice president of the Fraser Valley Angling Guide Association. And um, our members are quite concerned about this project that you're proposing for the Upper Pit River. Um, you know, over the last 20 years, our membership has been spending millions and millions of dollars promoting a wilderness experience to people from around the world for guided fishing charters and outdoor experiences. And um, <clears throat> I don't think uh, this project would be one that uh, we would support being that, um, you know, running power lines right over top of a Class A park and through the Upper Pit Valley would be considered pristine anymore. And I think we'd have a hard time in convincing people from around the world to come here and fish when you have power lines and uh, power stations located along the river's edge. Um, uh, so we're uh, definitely not in support of this and uh, of this project. Um, you know, in your, your notes here, you show uh, a lot of consultation, and from what we're hearing tonight, that it's pretty much just on the boards, and you really haven't consulted anyone. And you certainly haven't consulted the largest user group of the Upper Pit River, which is the Angling Guides. We have over 100 members who have not been consulted one iota about this, this project. So I'm not really sure who you've been consulting, but it certainly hasn't been us. Um, on the um, on the upper pit, when I was first hearing about these IPP projects, we were being told that you know, it was a, a, a project where you're removing water from a very steep location and you're diverting it out of the river, but you're putting it back in before you get to the habitat where fish use it. And when we look at your your, your maps, that's not the case. If you don't know anything about the upper pit then you can leave that people to believe that. But if you actually know a little bit about the upper pit and spend some time up there, you'll know that some of these water diversions, in fact, I think four out of the eight water diversions are diverting right around known fish um, habitat and where fish actually live. So you're not just taking water from a steep location, diverting it, and putting it back in the river prior to where the fish are, you're taking the, the river, the water, away from the fish. And those fish need that water in order to continue the life cycles in the river. We're talking about one of the last remaining spawning areas for wild bull trout, for, for sockeye salmon, for the largest coho run in British Columbia, and you're gonna destroy it over this, this project. Um, you know, it's funny because most of the people here are all here because of the Runner River and the Upper Pit. But, you know, you should inform yourself a little bit. This is going around on every watershed in the Fraser Valley. It's on the Harrison River, on the Little Wet River. It's on the Upper Stave River. It's on Stave Lake. It's through the entire Fraser Valley watershed from here to, to Hope that we're being attacked by these projects. It's not just the Upper Pit. And so, you know, and these other ones are going through because of you know, the fact that people aren't aware of it and people aren't as passionate about some of these other watersheds as they are the upper pit. So you know, maybe that's a sign. Um, this one here, we're going to do all we can to stop it just because this is our, our jewel of the entire Fraser Valley. There's other places you can do this. There's other places you can take water from and, and go on with these projects. You don't need the upper pit. And I think that, you know, if you, if you really truly care about the environment and if the parks and the environmental assessment agency really care about our parks, this will not go through. And we will have a big staff of no on this project.